Hello, everyone. Share technology and share life. What I share with you today is to install GMS and Google Play Store by installing VMOS Virtual Machine on Huawei mobile phone. This method is applicable to all Huawei series mobile phones such as Huawei Mate 40 Pro, Mate 30 Pro, P40 Pro, Nova, and so on. The VMOS mobile phone virtual machine software has been introduced for a long time but it has recently been updated and upgraded to solve some of the previous bugs and the problem that Google Map cannot locate the position or navigation. Moreover, I tested it and found that its startup speed and running speed are also much faster than the previous version. Ok, let's go to my Huawei mobile phone to show you step by step on how to install Google GMS and Google Play Store. Let's go! Ok, now welcome to my Huawei phones. I will show you step by step on how to install the VMS virtual machine to install the Google GMS and the Google Play Store to install this uh, Google application on your Huawei mobile phone. Ok, first step, we will need to go to using the uh, Huawei uh, browser. Here, down below, you can see the Huawei browser. This uh, I will show you this um, web address, the web address is vmos.com and I will uh, paste this uh, vmos uh, link, I mean the website link down below this video for you and you can use this uh, link to download the VO vmos virtual machine. Okay, so uh, I'm using this uh, uh, Huawei's uh, browser here, uh, the, uh, the mobile phone browser to download it. Okay, click the browser key in the uh, here the virtual machine of uh, uh, website official website to go to this uh, vmos.com then uh, you can see this is some instruction of this uh, VO and vmos then down below you can see two account online some instruction and the vm comes with the root environment it can support uh, it support the root and uh, app background running so you can you will not missing the uh, notification like uh, the gmail notification your whatsapp notification such as notification and you can customizable resolution or kinds of uh, um, functions okay go up then we will click the vmos pro download link to download the apk file click that one download uh, this file Okay, you can now you can see this uh, download link. The file size is around 700 megabytes. Then uh, click download. Okay, click download. Then uh, click three dots of this uh, uh, at the bottom of the screen. Three dots, download. So you can see this is uh, the download status. Um, but I'm already downloaded this uh, file, so. I will just uh, down below because I already downloaded it. it. So I will cancel this uh, download and uh, delete it. So because I already downloaded it, this one uh, previously I downloaded, it, so I just cancel this one. Then I just click install this uh, uh, file I previously downloaded. Okay, click that one. Then uh, I need to download this file. Then some allow you allow this. Uh, a permission then you need to uh, install this vmos pro okay now you click install okay to install this uh, virtual machine into your huawei mobile phone okay now we finished the installation then we click done then we go to our desktop you can see this new vmos pro this uh, application already uh, installed then we run this application first run first run this application so some instruction vmos pro new extreme user experience okay go uh, it supports 32 bit and 64 bit powerful software and hardware compatibility okay then it's it supports a lot of roms create roms platform for you to choose so it it supports the uh, the room which uh, which with the uh, Google GMS and the Google Play Store embedded into this room. Okay, we just go into now uh, 
community, some community. If you have any questions, you can go to the community. Okay, let's click down below the button Enter VM OS Pro. Okay, click that one. Then we need to give the some authorities to the VM OS Pro. Click the button down below. Click to authorize. Okay, set up now to give the uh, VM OS uh, permissions. Some permissions of the floating bar. Switch on the floating bar. Okay, now go back. Then uh, allow some uh, authorities. We click of the VM OS. Allow. 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 So you will need to allow all the, those those applications, all those uh, permissions. Okay. Now there's uh, some room for us to choose which one we need to choose. The one which support Google. You can see room 4.4. And a room 7.164 bit and a room 5.1, uh, but only the you can see only the room room 7.164 bit which support Google. You can see root support root support exposed and support Google. So we needed to use this one which support Google to ROM use the ROM 7.1. Okay, we click add the 7.1. Okay, now installing this uh, room installing um, because we already down it downloaded this uh, virtual machine and installed. So there's no uh, data usage of this installing. Just to install the room embedded in this application. Just uh, wait some seconds. Finish the installation. Okay, finished the installation. Now it's booting up, booting up the virtual machine. It's very fast, right? So uh, now is some instruction. Enable root, expose some settings, virtual machine settings here. You can see, you can give the root permissions, something like that. And this one is the file transfer. You can transfer the file between your real phone and to the virtual machine. So you can using the fun function to clone, clone the application from the real phone. Okay, now let's choose some application you want to transfer uh, from the, your real phone, then click import. Then you will uh, import the uh, real the uh, application or import your files, your pictures, your music from your real phone to the virtual machine and upload to other websites, something like that. Okay. Now let's have a look. The drawer is very clean. So you can see now currently there's no uh, Google Play Store here. So we needed to do some initial settings for this virtual machine to switch on the uh, Google Play Store. And switch on the Google GMS. Okay, now let's go to the settings of the virtual machine here. VM settings to set to give the settings of the uh, Google Play Store. Okay, now let's uh, go to the VM settings. So now there's a root. If you want to root permission, you can switch on. But if you not, then you just leave it by default. And exposed, if you want to switch on, you can switch on. Okay, the third one is uh, very important. So we needed to switch on this Google Services, uh, Google Service Framework, and uh, the uh, Google Play Store. So we needed to switch on this uh, uh, Google Google Services. Okay, we needed to confirm. So now the Google Play Store will be installed, 100% and complete. So now we needed to after that we needed to restart the uh, Google's restart this virtual machine. Okay, so we need to restart the virtual machine here. You can use the floating bar, just uh, beside the floating bar, then we will shut down the virtual machine and uh, to restart it again. Now click this one, click this button and restart the virtual machine to, in, to activate the Google's uh, Play Store. Let's have a look. Now it's uh, restarted, it's very fast, right? Then we go to drawer. Now you can see the Play Store already here. You can see the Play Store is uh, in the uh, icon is here. So now uh, next step we can log into the Play Store. But before that, we I will introduce the fl floating bar again for you. So this floating bar is very useful. You can switch the real phone and the virtual machine um, very easily. I, I will show you switch VM and uh, let's have a look. Minimize. You can see minimize and uh, here is the real phone. Then go back to your virtual machine. You can see real phone. Go back to your virtual machine. So you can shut down and and uh, the keep cap capture some 
something like that. So the floating by is very useful. Okay, now go to the virtual machine settings. You can change the very resolutions, step counting, navi magnification, authority management. Um, I think you can leave it by default. Virtual machine information and the floating ball, virtual key. You can uh, switch the. Um, you can switch. I mean the navigation bar here is here. Navigation is here. Back is here. Then if you're not like that, then you can uh, uh, change the key from here. Back, back is on the right. Back on the left. Okay. So and another one is the background keep alive. Let the virtual machine run in the background for a long time without being killed. Then you need to switch this on. Ignore battery optimization. So this will be uh, allowed. Otherwise, you be you may be missing some notifications like WhatsApp or Facebook message. So you need to switch this on. Background keep alive. Okay, then uh, go to the refresh rate. You can change refresh rate and uh, some other settings. Just leave it by default. Okay. Now go back. And uh, okay, uh, another setting is uh, about the battery usage. Here, I will go to the real phone. Here is a virtual machine, and I will go to the real phone to setting the battery usage. Here, let's have a look. Set the battery usage to prevent the system be killed by the Huawei's uh, real phone. Let's go to the app and search VMOS. VMOS. Go to the authority and give the uh, uh, date. Let's have a look. The power usage details now. App launch app launch here. You need to switch off manage automatically to switch this off and here or switch on to prevent the uh, uh, battery um, to this real phone's battery management to, to kill the virtual machine. Otherwise, you are missing maybe you are missing the WhatsApp message or missing the Facebook message. So you need to switch on the auto launch, secondary launch, running background those. Things okay. Now click OK. Then now let's go back and uh, to give the permission of the uh, let's go to the permission. Now the permission of create home screen shortcut here down below. Give the yeah. Let's give the uh, allow allow to it give the uh, create home screen shortcut. Then it's very easy for you to we work, we, we can give the uh, virtual machine a shortcut. Okay. Now let's shut down the uh, virtual machine here. Shut down, and here you can see the settings on the right side bar. Then you can create a shortcut here. Save, add. Okay. Then let's have a look. So you can see the ROM 7.1. Then you can run it directly by the link. So if you have two or three uh, virtual machine uh, ROMs, then you can create a shortcut on your screen directly. Now, if you want to run the virtual machine again, you can click this. This uh, shortcut directly. Click that one. So the virtual machine can be run directly, very fast, right? It's very easy. Okay, now let's go back to the sh uh, Play Store. We will install the uh, Google Map and YouTube to using the Google um, applications. Okay, let's click Play Store. Now let's go to sign in. Click sign in. To uh, key in your Gmail account. Okay, uh, now let's uh, key in your Gmail account. Okay, click next. Okay, now key in your Gmail account password. Okay, uh, click I agree. Then uh, switch off the backup to Google Drive and uh, click accept. Okay, now you can see the Google Play Store is logging, logging. Then uh, it's very easy for you to download and install the uh, Google applications. Very easy, right? For you. Now let's search the Google Map, Google Map, M A P. Let's search the map. So install the Google Map here. Click install. So it's very fast for me to install the Google Map. Okay, it's installing the Google Map. Okay, so finish the installation. Then we click the YouTube to to install the YouTube. 
Okay, search for the YouTube. Yeah. Okay, now we click install. Okay, the YouTube was downloaded and installing. Okay, finished to install the YouTube. Now let's go back to the desktop to have a look. Okay, we go back to the desktop and to have a look at this uh, YouTube and uh, the uh, Google Map already installed. Then we first run the Google Map. So the Google Map first run, you will see you cannot uh, locate uh, the uh, a position you click the button of the uh, location button here click the look and allow the access to the location allow okay click but you will find the uh, location cannot be find you can position cannot you uh, make the location cannot find the location so position cannot be uh, located so now we need to do some uh, settings to this uh, google map okay we go Go back to the desktop. Okay, we go back to the desktop to uh, go to the Android setting here. Settings, Android setting, not the virtual machine setting. We go to the Android setting to go to the settings and uh, go to the app. Let's go to find the maps and uh, we will force stop. Okay, then uh, let's give go to the storage and clear data. Okay clear data and go back then uh, we will use um, give the authorities permissions all the permission give the uh, Google map all the permissions okay now we finish the this setting and now we will go back to the uh, position settings here location now we will need to give the location of mode here mode device only we will change it by the high accuracy change it to the high accuracy okay go back then you will see the map okay we click the map to double check double check the permission yeah it's all, all there already there okay then uh, we needed to uh, restart your real phone yeah you needed to restart your real phone go back to the real phone and uh, restart your real phone click your yeah restart click restart your real phone Okay, our phone restarted, then we will run the virtual machine again, VMOS again. Click that one, shortcut, start up the virtual machine. Okay, now uh, loaded the virtual machine, then we go to the, go to the Google map here, click map, then this time you will find the uh, location can be fine the can position find the position we will you will find the blue button the button turn into blue instead of previous i mean previous uh, instead of previous gray color now the position can be found that can be works if uh, if you can it, if it still cannot work then you can repeat the process here again just go to the android setting and uh, go to the uh, location and now go to this uh, mode accuracy check that uh, one and the uh, google map you can uh, just a uh, full stop okay and uh, storage clear catch clear data click okay and go back and go give the permission or the permission and okay go back go back go back go back then you can run the google map again try again and you will find it, it these uh, things can be fixed. I mean, this bug can be fixed very quickly. And you, the position, and also you can use this Google Map to do the navigation. I tested the navigation works fine. So after you do that, so, okay. So Google Map is okay. And now let's move to the YouTube to check the YouTube to see if the video can be played or not. Yeah, the YouTube can be got it. Then YouTube, YouTube can be run, yeah, successfully. And uh, you can see the YouTube can run successfully. Yes. Okay, perfect. So uh, now you can uh, even uh, install other applications using the Play Store. It's very fast and quickly. So uh, if you have any comments, just leave your comments down below. And if you feel this video is helpful, just sum up and subscribe to the channel to view, avoid missing future updates. See you next time. Bye-bye.